<laughs> Sony and Sennheiser, y'all better take a page, y'all better take a page. All right, if it wasn't already obvious, we're gonna be reviewing the Skullcandy Heshe and C headphones. And I've reviewed the Sennheiser 450 BTs as well as the Sony WCH710Ns or something like that. And after reviewing those budget headphones, because the $200, these are 129, I'm already gonna say these are, for the price, these outperform those. And this review is gonna be really quick and easy. It's not a pair of headphones that are very complicated, they're very simplistic in their function. And the main function of these is active noise canceling. It actually has microphones, so it's not digital noise processing or anything. Actual active noise canceling. So what are my first impressions of these though? Because I took them out of the box and I felt like they had sort of a cheap plastics, you know, feel to them. But as soon as I started using them for a couple hours, all that bad impression of the build quality went out of the window. And that's what intrigued me the most too. As soon as I took them out of the box, I said, you know what? I was kind of exhausted of having headphones in the same colorway, unless you want to spend that $200, $300 price range. Let's do a quick overview of what's on the box and then we'll do an unboxing. Active noise canceling, 22 hours of battery life, rapid charge, flat folding and collapsible, and find your headphones with tile. I will say I'm not even gonna go over that because I did try it with iOS and the biggest issue is it just didn't work. All right, let's see what these have to say when it comes to the controls. So it says that this button is gonna be pairing mode, press and hold for one second. Actually, when you turn it on for the first time, it automatically goes into pair mode. So that's noise canceling, press once, press it again to turn it off, press it twice for ambient. Track forward is the press and hold this one second. Track backward is the minus one second. Volume up, volume down. Answer and calls, power on, power off. Power off is two seconds, power on is one second. Answer and then calls, pressing once. And of course, if I didn't say it already, play pause is once as well. Those are all the controls. Pretty simple and straightforward. Now looking through everything, these do not come with sensors on the headphones, so it's not going to auto-play, auto-pause, and yes, the app doesn't offer anything. I mean, th the only thing they really offer is just looking at settings and maybe a firmware update if it needs it, and the whole tile thing. The tile find your headphone feature is the biggest thing, but like I said, for some reason on my iOS device, it just was not working. So that's gonna be it for the unboxing and everything that comes in it. All right, let's go over the main feature of these and that is the ANC performance. What do I think about it? I give it a seven, maybe eight out of 10 because of the price range of these. And I actually, especially when you hear later in the mic test, I actually went to a coffee shop during a morning rush and was there for about 30, 40 minutes, you know, whatever time they allowed because of things going on and sat there and really just was like, how much noise is it blocking? After sitting there for that long, I gotta say, it blocked out most of the ambient noise, especially when listening to a podcast or an audiobook and music, of course. I tested all three of those because those have different sound, you know, the levels aren't gonna be the same throughout. You know, it's not gonna be consistent and it, in, you know, outputting sound as like an audiobook seem to be different than music, for example. I know I've rambled on my words, but hopefully that made sense. So after testing them, I'm really impressed. I would actually prefer these over those Crusher Skull Candy headphones I just used because active noise canceling matters. It helps you focus on your schoolwork or helps you just be left alone more. I always would take ANC over any other headphone feature, especially if it's as good as this for the price. And the other benefit too with them being active noise canceling headphones is the ambient aware feature really brings in a lot of the outside noise to where you almost feel like you don't have the headphones on. I mean, obviously they're there, but it brings in that much noise and it makes it sound natural. The only flaw with the ANC on these is if you're in a really low, you know, quiet environment, let's say at home, and maybe you just wanna block out like the refrigerator or cars driving by and this and that, the, the, the issue is the microphones are pretty strong to where it's gonna let in too much of a artificial sound, you know, that white noise sound. And it's not piercing or anything, but it's just, it sounds like airflow is the best way I can put it. You're better off not activating it. It just, you notice it the most in an actually loud environment. And it seems like we're running through this review, but I'm telling you, these, these are a simple pair of headphones. So let's get into the sound. When it comes to the sound of these, I, I have no complaints really. I mean, there's more than enough bass. 
you're not going to feel anything crazy if you're kind of comparing Skull Candy headphones. You're not going to feel anything crazy like the Crushers, but it's like I said in that review, I don't think that's a major benefit for headphones. I actually had a little bit of ringing in my ears, and that's why I said in that review, I don't think those are good for long-term use. That, that's kind of a crappy feature for the duration that you actually get to use these. These, I had them on in that coffee shop for 45 minutes at home walking around or when I went on a walk to test them. I mean, you know, an hour, two hours, three hours at a time consistently wearing them. That's a major benefit you can actually get used to. So with the music quality, the bass is there, the clarity's there trying them out in different genres they all sound good the volume is loud the volume gets really loud the volume gets really low you know you have pretty much there's not really one complaint i can think of with the sound i mean i guess the only thing i can think of is when it comes to the bass sure if you wanted to add an equalizer there's no equalizer in the app and that's a major flaw for a lot of people i mean as good as these sound without any equalizer or without any app i can't imagine if you actually did you know, have an equalizer to increase the bass or the mids or the highs or whatever it is you want to do, depending on where you're listening to. I think more headphone companies should do what JBL does, have different sound signatures and make it really simplified based on the type of music you're listening to, even if it's podcast or voice. So that's the major con about the sound of these. If they're good on their own, it just would have been so much better if they actually had an EQ setting in the app or something to customize that with. And now going into how do they fit, well, luckily most people who have small heads don't have to worry about adjusting them. I have to bring it down probably to about a six before they actually fit right. And even with glasses, they fit just fine. You know, no big deal. You just make a couple of adjustments and I think they look dope. I, I seriously am in love with these headphones and how they fit. The biggest thing I think Skull Candy did with these two is they were more focused on what matters. And so the biggest pros, like I said, are the ANC number one, the fit number two and then sound quality number three, only the only reason why it's in that order is because the fit, my ears don't sweat really easy in these. I don't really get ear fatigue, which is actually pretty shocking because how lightweight they are. I got ear fatigue on the Crushers. I get ear fatigue on my Sonys, believe it or not. And it's just because of the way they fit. For some reason with the foam on these and on the ear pads, I just, I don't know what they did, but I think it's actually the weight of these that is probably most impressive with that. And the only reason why sound quality is third is because it just, that goes back to that EQ thing. Hopefully that was enough. Last thing we're gonna do is get into a sound test of these. And I was in an actual coffee shop, like I mentioned earlier, when I did this microphone test. All right, this is a microphone test of the Skull Candy Hashing T. And I noticed that when I am doing the mic test with ANC on, there's no side tone or anything. And it really suppresses a lot of the noise. All right, now I'm just in my house and a quiet environment, no noise going on or anything. One thing I did notice is whenever you do pick up a phone call or audio recording, anything like that, is it does beep before and after. So obviously my final say is definitely get these. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. I've tested out so many earbuds and headphones and this and that. And it's actually, the frustrating thing about the more expensive headphones is you really have to be bringing something to the table. Like Sony really brought the ANC. Bose 700s really brought, brought the phone call quality. Really, I mean, the comfort and the phone call quality is on those Bose 700s are way better than the Sony's. So it's, it has to be something so dramatic. Whereas if you buy something like this, you're just happy all the way around. All right, that's gonna be it. So thank you for watching the review on these. Really appreciate it and I'll see you guys on the next one.